What's up, YouTube? I hope you all are having a great day. Now, big time video going down. This has probably been the most requested one that I've received. Reacting to all the One Piece openings. There's 23 of these things. Also, this video, these videos are notorious for content ID. The plan is to have the music in there if possible. If not, I'm gonna this I'm 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 this is pre-video, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you know. I don't know how this thing's gonna come out. I'm not gonna edit the video in the sense of cutting out any of the video intro or openings. The music might not be there. It might be there. It might be there for some. It might not be there for others. We'll just have to see. Uh, but I am not going to cut out anything uh, video wise because I can always, you know, filters and, and things like that can make the magic happen. Anywho. Uh, it just really is dependent on the sound. Like I said, I'm going to try to have the music in there for you guys. I, I'm, I'm trying to give you this full-fledged experience. Don't know if YouTube's going to let that happen. We're like, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it, okay? And what else you should go for is make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up, comment, all the things. Tell me what you want me to react to. I have JoJo's on the horizon. I want to start reacting to full episodes of, of One Piece, of JoJo's, and, and all that stuff because those two are, without a doubt, the most requested ones. I definitely want to check those out. But if you guys are new here, make sure you do all the things. If you want to see everything fully unedited, make sure you go to patreon.com forward slash boomstick. And uh, yeah, we can get started from there. Anywho, this is going to be a long video. Let's get into these openings. Let's do the thing. All right, let's get into this. I'm going to go ahead and hit you with the fact uh, I, I know there's a main pirate guy. I, I understand that from, from friends and things like that. I know the one piece logo, which is the skeleton with a hat. And I know the main guy's name is Luffy. Thank you for coming to my dissertation on one piece. That is literally all I know about this show. Uh, I know, I do know one of the other characters names is Zoro <laughs> and that's it. That's literally, uh, my knowledge of one piece. Okay, we're running through a nice sprawling hill. I know that's Luffy, and I'm pretty sure the green-haired guy is Zoro, the one with the swords. Okay, that ship is cute AF. I'm not going to lie. I feel that. That's a, that's a very nice ship. That's the... Holy sh... Oh, crap. I'm sorry, was that, was that like an ostrich turkey zebra whale? Like, what is what are the animals in this world? currently <laughs> okay we have the ship bouncing around i like it okay it, it looks like the ship has a personality so is is the ship like a thing in the in the show or or am i just overplaying what it, oh dang okay man's got a slingshot with an egg i'm not sure what she does quite oh okay reed richards i feel you with the long punch Okay, introducing some bad guys. Well, I'm assuming they're bad guys. Everybody else is in a in a very bright, you know, positive light, and they were drawn in a darker corner. Is that is that a family member? Because it kind of looks like him. He also seemed to have his hat. Okay, I like it. I dude, I like how upbeat the show feels. Okay, a little little more, a little heavier opening, a little more rock. Got more bad guys, it looks like, in the background, or they look mean at least. That's the guy I think Zoro. Dude, it is just a cavalcade of characters right now. Okay. I can see I can see why this show is like longer running than The Simpsons or like has more episodes. Because good lord at all these characters. Okay, that's the guy that looked like him. That's the main pirate guy. And now we're getting into a DDR beat. Okay, I feel it. I feel it. Okay. I like the song so far. Okay. I dude, I like the I like the vibe of this intro. Uh, this is number two. Okay, we're back to showing off all the characters. Are there are there going to be fantastical sea creatures on this one? Is it is it going to be weird? Okay, right there's sword guy. Is that the Zoro guy? That is crazy long legs man, and slingshot guy with big nose. So and uh, lady. I heard I'm I I don't I don't know that a character's names. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm trying here. Okay, but there's a bunch of bad guys. 
Dude, what is that sea creature right there? It is like, it's like a pelican had sex with a sheep. I still think, is that guy like, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I'm finding this. It's like a lot of information in this opening really quickly. And I'm sure once you've seen this show, like you, you, you piece together everything instantly. Uh, me on the other hand, I did not. Okay. Uh, here's opening three. I'm not sure what the, hopefully it gives. Oh, dude, I like that intro. The world is red. It does like, I, I don't know. Like I get kind of like Lupin the third vibes from this show. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's totally and utterly incorrect. And I apologize for that, but I'm getting Lupin vibes. I, I, you know, I'm sure that's probably like a really stupid take, but I'm sorry. Was that, what was that? What was the animal thing? Did they get a dog? Oh, damn. Okay. She's actually showing to be a bit of a badass. Like, I'll, who? Okay. Is he? Okay. It looks like it has antlers, but it can also turn into a furry meatball. So, yeah. Well, I, I, okay. We got, we now have a furry meatball companion. Everybody's chilling on the ship that uh, has the uh, fun ram's head on it. See, they keep like every every intro. So, oh, who was that? And there he is again. But every intro has like kind of focused on the ship in a weird way. I I feel like the ship is going to have a personality when I watch this show. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm taking that is that the ship plays a, just a big part. Dude, I can't get over the the dog deer. Or whatever it is. And I love, like, once again, another poppy upbeat. God, that is a gigantic dolphin. I, 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 I get, like, a very, like, happy poppy vibe from, from the intro. So I'm assuming the show, you know, it's an anime. I'm assuming it has very serious parts. But it's also one of those things. I feel like it, it, it's got, like, a silly vibe to it. Like, the show is not afraid to have fun, it looks like. Okay. A lot of swords on the sand so far. Is this is this Mortal Kombat? A little bit of fan service right there. Got some kebabs on the grill. Oh, okay. Are we chilling on an island now? Okay. I don't know whose voice this is. I'm going to turn it up for myself. So once again, I'm enjoying all these songs. Okay. Once again, the ship being kind of the centerpiece as it draws in. I still feel like the ship, like, we saw them on an island for a split second, but back on the ship. And then you had the dog. I don't know what the dog deer thing is. Uh, I'm already a fan, though. Okay. Also, this is the fourth opening, and all the main characters are still together while adding a few. The lady on the left and the... and. I don't, I don't want to disrespect whatever the little fella is. <laughs> uh, it's almost, I almost want to stop recording and Google what the, the animal thing is. Okay. That would look like the bad guy. Wait, were they all kids? Well, I mean, obviously they're all kids, but like, uh, do we have some flashback episodes? Do we have some filler here? Oh, I love like so far, like all their intros have been very kind of varied in like what they've shown and what they've done in like a different kind of art style. I'm digging it so far. I'm digging the intros. It makes me want to watch the show even more. Because it looks like, yeah, it, the show is just made to look fun. And and that's the important thing to me when when trying to choose an anime is like, you know. Okay. God, man, like. They are like almost Black Clover levels of like choosing fun songs, good songs to go with like their intros. I was like, no, nah, Black Clover intros are fun songs. But like, I don't know. It just, they, they, they've done a really good job of like putting together the song that would go with what the intro is. And it also looks like the, the art style. This is the fifth intro. It looks like the art style is getting better already. So... You know, people always complain about the animation when they talk about this anime. Like when I see people have a conversation about this. And 
yeah, it's it's so far like it it doesn't look that bad. Like you know, it looks like a show that was drawn in the early two thousands. Oh, he can get. I knew he could turn into a meatball, but he's a freaking Hulk now. Okay, we're back on an island. Does the island start becoming a home base? Was it always a home base? Okay, it. Oh, we're getting even more. Oh, yo. There's magic powers in this show. I mean, I know Homeboy had like Stretch Armstrong arms in that one intro, but like, yeah, are we actually, do people have like power powers in this? You know, I thought it was just kind of hyperbole when his arm could stretch like that. Is that actually like a power he has? Okay. I'm, I'm all about the bird that able to salute with the hard eyes. I'm a dude. I am like, huh. These are so good so far. I am not mad at these. And the songs have been great. Okay, I'm guessing the hat is just as big a central point because it looked like that guy was... Oh, okay, so that has to be a power, right? That he, he can actually stretch his arms like that. That's not, that's not like anime being cartoon fun. Like it's actually something he can do. Dude, and the art continues to get better. And this is just the sixth opening. So... Yeah, people saying that the art is bad in this, like, I disagree. Like, it looks good to me so far. Oh, my God. I, I need to figure out what whatever that the, the, the animal is because it's adorable. What is that bad guy? He literal clown. I also, so the cool thing about a show that's like this whimsical is that it can kind of do that, and, and I hate comparing it to this because I don't like Epic Games, but it, it can kind of do like that Fortnite thing, it looks like, to where, like, making the show fun and win. Oh, oh, okay. So, uh, are the Marines, are they actually pirate pirates? So, they're not pirates for fun. They're actual pirates having having the Navy chase after them then. Oh, my, okay. Is man's about to hit him with the Buddhist palm? And he's got about six swords right there. I think one was coming out of his ass. And he just slingshot fire? What is... Okay, things are picking up in this one. So apparently all the openings leading up to this one were just like, hey, like... What, what is with the, the... Oh, okay. The inflatable twins back there. Yeah, all the other... Uh, episodes are, are, or all the other openings were just really prepping you for what that one was going to be. That one threw clown bad guys at us. That one threw inflatable twin bad guys at us. Okay. Okay. Is this the first one over again? Maybe it's different. Okay, it sounds different. This sounds like a group instead of when the when the first intro like it's the same song but it sounds different. It sounds like it's different people. Was this like a celebration? Yeah, this sounds different than the first. It's the same song, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I mean, you also yeah, there's there's pelican ostrich sea animal and zebra whale. So Alrighty then. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, the song, okay. I think it's just different people singing it. Was this like a celebration kind of thing? 100th episode, 200th episode? I know it's got like 900 and some episodes at this point, 1,000 episodes. I know it's a very long-running anime. I know that much. Okay, yeah, it's the, it's the exact first opening. I wonder who's singing this. Like, uh, yeah, I wonder what's the importance behind this one. I still think that's got to be a family member, right? It looks like him. We, ah, I like it. I like it. I don't know if that's a common theme where they, they replace or replay different ones. Oh, okay. We got to put the letters back together. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Liking it. Liking it. Ugh. Dude, it's like Japanese ska. Okay. None e doubt. We still still ship playing a big part. Uh, that looks roughly like the same island they were in the earlier openings. Yeah, I will never understand people complaining about the art style of this anime. Maybe, I, I, I mean, I haven't watched it, but the opening, you know, is usually a pretty good indication of how the show is drawn. And it looks pretty good. Okay, we got, okay, now he carries packages. Or she. I don't want to be rude. The animal could be a female as well. And now he's hulked out. It's hulked out. And giant monkeys running everywhere. Okay, this one has like a more relaxed vibe. Opening eight, did 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 we need to take a vacation? Okay, you have that guy, cross guy again. He's been coming back and forth. I don't know if I've seen him. I've definitely seen him. I don't know who he... Oh my God. Ooh. <laughs> He is going to slingshot himself through the ship in, in, in Satama super serious uh, consecutive punches. Yeah, you know, that's that's what we all do. We just take down another pirate ship, then go back to our barbecue. That's that's just that's just us hanging out chilling. Yeah, like I like I said, like kind of like Japanese ska with like a very relaxed vibe, but then a dinosaur shows up because why wouldn't a dinosaur show up here as they uh, continue through these worlds. The maps look different every time, I feel like. So at least, like, even though the island where they were looks very similar. But, okay, there was a guy riding a hippo? And shopping, like, this show bounces in between looking like it's, like, modern-day kind of aesthetic with with its cities and and like old school like looks with like when they're in the water like with the ships and stuff okay dude i i give them oh we have a new ship is that a new ship or did we just get a different uh figure uh uh mast whatever it's called thing on the front of the ship bust mast okay we have numbers on the ship or on the steering wheel, one and three. Does that mean, I mean, I know what going from six to midnight means, but. Okay. Once again, another, another fun poppy song. It's crazy that, oh, skeleton man with a, with the fro and a mini top hat and a cane. So, and then we have slicked back blue hair guy. Animal dude continues to get ripped. And upgraded slingshot, upgraded bow staff. He still has swords in his teeth. <laughs> so that's a thing he can still do. All right. So homeboy always has hearts in his eyes. I think for the one on that was on the right. So we got a new cast member in blue haired guy. Okay. Clown guy is back. Uh, that visor guy is back. We recognize him. So, I mean, for as long as the show has been running, the, I'm, I'm assuming those are bad guys. They don't look like good guys. Okay. We are, we recognize all those. And the Navy's back as well, or it says Marine. I'm assuming that's the Navy. It looks like the Navy. Okay. Oh, so, whoa, wait. So, turning the wheel a certain number. Oh, is that the cannons? Oh, he's got a cannon out of his mouth. And was that a shark submarine? I'm uh, okay. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm trying to keep up with everything that's going on in these openings. It is tough. There's a lot of stuff in this. Okay, he's got Popeye forearms. I, I feel it. Respect. Like I said, all oh, these are just filled with like, like almost like this uplifting thing where they, whoa, okay. I see why it's uplifting and why they have a big smile on their face, especially if they got all that. Okay. Number 10. It's crazy to think we've been doing this as long as we have, and we're only on number 10. 
Okay, that once again sounds like the first song, but like a remix. So one, seven, and ten have have kind of had like very similar songs, same songs, but remixed or different people singing them. Okay. Okay, this sounds like a different song now. And our main guy Luffy. Okay, never mind. Everybody's everybody's just filling in as it goes along. I thought maybe he was on a solo adventure, but everybody's here for the party. Okay. We're we're recognizing like half these people. Dude, that is a long mustache for a chef to have. Dude, I want the skeleton guy back. Where's he at? Ah, uh, I love the way they introduce characters. Like they do a really good job and like like I said, it's Simpsons levels of backstory characters that looks like. Where it's like, no wonder it's ran as long as it has for, oh, okay, what do the black X's mean? Does that mean they can't drink at the club? Okay, we're excited. Oh, that dude's back. So was the, was the sun guy short-lived? No, there he is. Okay, do we have two different ships now? And once again, I, I it, it always surprises me when it can fly. And then we have a Mecha Taurus thing. Okay. <laughs> is that Bone Guy? Yes. Bone Guy is back. He's so cool looking. Okay. That was, was that the head? Okay. We got cool hat guy. Yeah, I'm recognizing like more and more of these characters. Did that guy have a must knife as a mustache? Okay. And once again, that guy looks like he's a family member of of him. Yeah. Is that like future him or something? Are we not are we not supposed to know like who he is? Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, okay. Different kind of like hitting us with the with the JR and B. Oh. Never mind, it's more like Japanese boy band. Alrighty. Oh, the black and white style with oh, who is that bad guy? Okay. Oh, no, Luffy, Zoro, okay. Her name's Nami. I know her names now. Yusup. Sanji. Chopper. Okay. Robin and Frankie and Brooke. Wait, is is Skeleton Man going to become part of the crew? Oh, is he part of the crew? I hope. Okay, we're just surfing, having a good time. Flying on the surfboard. Okay, never mind. <laughs> It was like a giant pancake. Okay, Navy's still hot on our heels, apparently. I'm not going to lie. This one kind of has like more of a Saturday morning cartoon vibe. You got to respect them when they're eating during the credits. It's like they don't feed us during these shows, so we got to we gotta do it ourselves. Did he have a clarinet coming out of his chin? Oh, who was that? Oh, I love, dude, I love all the different characters. Look at that. Look, look how crazy that all looked. Okay. Oh. Do we have a clandestine meeting? Is that a love interest? A sister? A flashback? Okay. The usual people, except for that end guy. Who looked like an old fish stick. Good lord, man. Oh. I had Alice in Wonderland vibes. Okay, who is this? We're back to back, so that has to mean we're family. I love the skeleton guy. Chopper or Brooke. I, their name's Brooke. So Luffy, Zoro, Nami, uh, Yusup. Uh, the other girl's Robin? Okay. I like it. I like it. Mm 
Okay. Is, is, does his hat contain powers, or is it just important because it's, oh my god, as a fat person, I would eat all that cake. And we have a mecha llama. Okay. A gigantic dog who is not approving of the way Robin's playing the game. Uh, okay, Chopper leading the band of frogs and baboons and stuff. Is this all taking place during an LSD trip? That was even weird for this show that I've seen so far. And one of their cast members is... Oh, they're on a world turtle! Okay... I, I, I'm kind of like overwhelmed by how much stuff there is right now. <laughs> it's like they're on a train in the sky. They're okay. Okay. What is going on in this one? Did, did, did the creators of the show are just like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just put some stuff in there. All right, then. Fair enough. Oh, oh, it got serious. Okay. We've seen this tattoo before. Oh, he's looking, he's looking upset and beat up. Okay. He's fighting off a lot of Beetlejuice people. Who's he reaching for? He's reaching for some, oh my God. Okay. That was the Marine guy. I think Navy is still on our ass. Sure. There's that lady. There's the guy in the hat. Okay. So many of these people. Yeah. Like they keep doing the same people over knife mustache guy. He said, I must ask you a question. Oh, are we having like a big meetup in? Oh, he looks like him. Is that who he's going after? Brother, dad, cousin, uncle. All right. Opening 13. Here we go, baby. All right. All right. Oh. Like I said, I've enjoyed every song they've they've had so far. Okay, so once again, they're back to back. Was that were, was he the one he was back to back with in the last opening? Ooh, dude! Like their their music spans like all genres so far. This is like '90s rock ballad. Okay, is that the guy with the the knife tattoo? Is the guy that looks like him? Zoro working on his swords. Yusup fishing. Nami. I'm just trying to remember all names here. Him. Chopper. We, we're never going to forget Chopper's name, by the way. I think Frankie and Brooke. The, the crew just keeps growing, man. Okay, what does he see? He's running towards something. Okay, that's the tattoo the guy had on his back. It's the guy that looks like that. That guy was half diamond. Dude, it looks like he's related to like a quarter of these people. Whoa. Okay. I don't know who that is. This, like, you can see so many influences in their characters. Like, you can tell a lot of this show was very early 2000s, mid 2000s as well. Oh, okay. Is that guy his brother? Because, come on, man. Like, they're, they, they literally look like they're hanging out. That's got to be his brother. Very close cousin. <laughs> so it makes me wonder that we do see a lot of different characters, but we also, I'm sorry. Was that like vampire necktie guy? Who was he? Okay. We're seeing like more and more like of these people have powers and I still, I, okay. Are we having like a big brother arc? Like we have to be. I feel it. I feel it. So these are telling more of a story as it goes along, it feels like. Okay. Back to more kind of like club music. I like. <clears throat> I always like it when they do the, uh, the animations of like the, um, their silhouettes. Ah, 
God, dude, like I said, like the artwork for this looks good. Like, I don't understand people being, you know, I've said it before. I just don't understand people being upset, like with how the anime looks. Cause so far it looks pretty, oh, he was sad right there. Okay. That makes me feel bad. Okay, dude, this song. Oh, my man's gained some weight. You some what happened, baby? Looks like he was slingshotting some food into his mouth. Okay, that's nice. Once again, like it's like they kind of have like a, a very upbeat song, and then like one to just like chill the mood. But right there, I, I don't know who that third person is, but it looks like the dude with the tattoo. Then Luffy, and yeah, is that is that another brother? No, who is that? I don't know who that is. Could that be a young Zoro? Perhaps? I don't know. Dude, it seems like some of these characters have seen better... Oh, Nami's crying. I don't even know if she's a good character or not, and I feel bad. Chopper's crying. Why is everybody so sad all of a sudden? Brooke, if Brooke cries, I'm ending the video. I don't think I could take Brooke Skeleton Man crying. Okay, is that big brother giving him a push? What? I'm okay. I'm trying to process a story here. Dude, I, yeah, I'm going to have to start watching this show. Like, it's, it's, the openings are great. Okay. We have a new logo, maybe? The Grand Line? I am, so the Grand Line and the Red Line, they meet. Is that where the, is that where this guy's treasure is supposed to be? Perhaps, perchance. Right. Once again, another upbeat. You had like that chill vibe song. Then you have like a super upbeat, upbeat one. Upbeat? No. No. Hey guys, we only have eight more to go after this. Oh my God. Oh, it's, I think. Uh, I don't want to be split a fan base here, be all weird about it, but I think I like the look of this ship more than the other one. I like the kind of like sunshine lion thing. All the characters, they kind of, yeah, like every time you see them, the characters seem like a little cleaner drawn. Maybe it's just at this point, like how much I've, I've, I've seen of this. <clears throat> Yeah, like, also, every every opening, it, like, the show... Oh, my God, did he just deflect a cannonball from his stuff? Oh, what the hell? How big does his fist get? Also, it's it's mixed in with, like, everybody looking way serious. So, I feel like, yes, now that we're, like, in probably different store. Oh, he just... Dude, what? Like, he has the ability to just lay... Then it's, like, all these characters. <laughs> It's like, and character dump. You'll recognize some, and there's some new people in there. There's the lady with the sharp teeth again. Okay. So is that his dad? Older brother? Weird uncle? There's, there's just so much to take in. That's when you know your homies when you all get the same tattoo. Yeah, once again, another... Oh, does he have mechanical legs now? What happened there? Frankie's got metal legs. And here we go. Another, another like, poppy vibe. Another, another chill pop song. At least it feels that way so far. It might kick up into some DDR kind of uh, uh, rhythms. Everybody enjoying a nice meal. 
you deserve it because your last couple of openings have seemed rather serious. Okay, Nami looking studious. Zoro, what is up with this man and his teeth? You stop fishing. That's what we've. Is Chomper a scientist? Or Chopper, not Chomper. Is Chopper a scientist? Okay, we've seen that man cook before. Frankie looking big, as usual. Brooke playing the violin. Robin was was watering. Okay, it's good to see everybody have interest outside of being pirates and, and kicking ass. Oh, dude. Oh, it's like he can Hulk out even more now, and he just turns into a Mega Man villain. Oh, who are you? Did that man have a piece of steak as a cheek? And giant blob monster. That's about to just... Oh, oh, quite the loogie you have there, sir. Oh, who's that? Are we, about to, are we about to bust out in a fight? Oh, dude. That guy looks like, with, with that a hat like that, it looks like he'd play bass for Smash Mouth. Okay. Once again, like, the whole soundtrack for the openings or is something I would willingly listen to on Spotify. And the art just, it keeps getting better and better. <clears throat> I know I've said that a bunch, but it's true. And, like, the characters just look a lot cleaner as this goes along. And Luffy himself is starting to get, like, a few more scars and scratches. Yeah, what happened there? Yeah, I mean, partying and pirating, I know, has its it has its downside. But, uh, yeah, he's got, like, you know, a little, little under-eye action. Get a little concealer, cover that up. Looks like they're getting ready to go to a serious party right there. Okay, she's got a feathered hat. Oh, okay, we're we're all we're all wearing very particular hats now. We we're either going to be serious pirates, crazy pirates, or going to the Kentucky Derby. I'm not sure which. Fifteenth anniversary. Wow. So this show came out in like 2000, right? So this would be like 2015. All right. So Brooke definitely enjoys his violin. <laughs> uh, they always throw in the fan service. Whoa. And you don't mess with her, apparently. Maybe that's why Luffy has all the scars on him now, because he just keeps getting his ass beat. Man, the Navy really does not want to give up, huh? And that guy apparently has fire magic. Which is ironic for someone who's like maybe like a big dog in the Navy. Okay, good old-fashioned sword fight. I like it. Was that his slingshot that did that? And there's Chopper being a giant meatball once again. Did she just defeat them with the power of salsa? Dancing, not the, not the food. Okay. Dude, some of these have such a Saturday morning cartoon vibe. So the one piece, yes, is, is an actual thing. So what do you get when you become the king of pirates? Like, do they have to pay a fee to you or something? Is it time just to kick up, relax? I mean, because you got a pretty, pretty neat crew. I think you, I think you could take on most people at this point. Especially the guy has a sword in his teeth. Dude, once again, just. Returning characters, but so many crazy looking ones. Was that a, a, I'm sorry, was that a cannonball or a meteor hitting the ground? Okay, we got the neon spade symbol. What's going on there? Are we going to go to a casino? Man, the 15th anniversary looks like it was busy. Okay, once again, super clean drawing, super upbeat song, but man, Luffy is looking serious. I 
I'm guessing different anim anime houses had to, or animation houses had to have drawn these. I'm sure someone can correct me. Oh, it looks so good. I haven't really paid attention to what the credits said, probably for the animation house or... Yeah, once again, man, like the the cities and the markets look pretty fairly modern, but like everything else looks like it's just like old school pirate. Especially the way people dress. Apparently most can't afford undershirts. Okay, I haven't seen the guy that looks like his brother lately. That looks like a, a crew. Dude, he looks so serious in some of these now. Like, do does this get like uber serious? Because a lot of times, everybody still seems pretty stoked. What? What? Oh, my God. The move. Whoa. He's able to use fire now. He used to just be. He just did a slingshot off of a effing dragon. I'm sorry. Dude, what is the show? I do not know what this show is because damn. Okay. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> we have, we have many a clown looking people. And I don't mean that as a disrespect. I just mean the way they do their makeup. I still like the ship more. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be, I don't know if I'm going to be labeled an ass in the comments, but I, I, I just like the way it looks. I hope the other one isn't like a living being that had to die for that ship to, to, to come to be. If it did, I'm going to be super sad. <laughs> okay. 19 version two. Ooh. Okay. Like, I'm sure there's plenty of storyline for those that have like seen the show, but like, like almost all the openings just look like, Hey, super serious pirate adventure or super fun pirate adventure or super serious fun pirate adventure. Dude, it always looks like they are just down to party. And I like that. I don't see the orange trees or whatever they were on the ship that used to be on the old one. The characters, like, depending, like, on the openings are starting to look a little different, too. Dare, is that his dad? Another clown villain? I think a lot of people's, like, fear of clowns is validated by all these openings. <laughs> okay. Right on. Fan service once again. Dude, look at the storms ahead. I wonder if that's a metaphor or there are actual storms ahead. Dude, who are these like Centaur Taurus people? Chopper looking yoinked. Damn, like, okay. So are the the fighting scenes in this look like they would be freaking epic? That's that's what I'm piecing together, one piecing together. <laughs> All the fight scenes in this would be great. I'm sorry, Bunny Lady. We already knew Submarine Shark and that guy, but Bunny Lady. There's something for everyone in this show, literally, literally. There's literally something for everyone in this show. Like at this point, like, you know, they're, this show seems to only be stopped by whatever their imagination is. Okay. We're in the twenties y'all. Oh, he's back to a normal looking slingshot. Okay. Oh, who is he going for? Okay. Is that guy, was that the redheaded guy or is that a new one? <clears throat> Uh, 
Oh, that almost looks CGI. That's so clean. Yo, I don't know if it's possible for Nami to get any skinnier. Essentially, she would just be a running broom with boobs. I am really digging this art style. Like, it seems a little more edgier, a little more serious. Okay, he's got a gigantic cape. <laughs> Right. Oh, he looks mildly dressed up. Oh, dude. Okay. Like more animals and electric people. The bunny lady's back. That lady is horrifying. We've seen her before, though. Not that big. But horrifying. <laughs> Once again, man, the music. Clean. That, this this yeah that's how I just described this whole thing oh I'm sorry is there a cake island because uh I would apply for citizenship oh who who was the creepy lady with a baby uh oh okay are we having a, a, a an actual confrontation so like is oh my god both of these gentlemen have seen better days Man, it looks like there's some hella emotional moments in these now. I feel, yeah. <laughs> Dude, but then it cuts to a villain that has like a silly helmet on or that lady right there that looks absolutely ridiculous. Oh, he's getting married. Even though he got his ass kicked by Luffy. Or he kicked Luffy's ass. We haven't really, we haven't really figured that one out yet. Well, yeah, was that him and Luffy that got, was that the same guy or was that someone different? Cause it kind of looked like that dude. Okay. You, you're going to hit us with the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers attitude. I like it. We haven't added a new cast mate in a min uh, hot minute. I was going to say Frankie and Brooke have been there since like opening 12. Okay, he's he's dressed a little fancier again. Is Luffy a career pirate now? Is he an executive pirate? Once again, the Navy surrounding us with a whole slew of baddies, which I they look like baddies to me. I keep calling them bad guys. These could be his friends. I could be absolutely rude right now, assuming that these people are... Oh! Is that Brooke's power? Is a... It looks like they all have the power of electricity, except for Chopper, who can just turn it into a massive elk. <laughs> I'm sure someone in the comments is going, actually, Chopper is... A I don't care. He's just I'm just saying what he looks like to me. Oh, do are we, are we having love that's just not connecting? And we got a battlefield scene, and then that we got the mobster guy. And then we had the anthropomorphic bunny leopard lion guy. I guess they were like, "Hey, we can't leave furries out, y'all. We gotta, we get, we gotta get, we gotta have something for them. They're a growing audience." Dude, Lovey has had his ass beat in the last two openings, and he hasn't looked great for like five of them. <laughs> oh, okay. Once again, like magic power, like I'm wondering if the power, they even just said superpowers. I'm wondering still if like all this is what does Luffy have a say in version? Okay. So yeah, I'm wondering like, is all this like some kind of science based stuff or is this like some sort of like. Everybody in the world actually does have like a sort of power in this. So, dude, these openings, they're getting heavier, but they're so good. Is he in prison? Ooh, what? Okay, we're in another magical world. God, that looks pretty. 
cherry blossoms floating from the sky. Okay, this definitely, like... I'm really liking the, the, I don't know what kind of art style this would be, but it, it's got like ninja vibes. Whoa. Okay. We got some new baddies here. That looks like a walking iron maiden. That was crazy. Look. Oh, hello, jack-o'-lantern man. Okay. We got smash mouth bases back. Dude, can we cut back to Luffy being in prison? Or imprisoned? I know these are intros, but I just kind of need to, need to know what's happening now. You had a parade float that looked like it was fighting a, a monkey of some sort. Oh, man. Dude, he's looking yoked, my guy. The big bads look really big, but Luffy is looking also really freaking big. By the power of Grayskull. Dude. Uh, it's like they took inspiration from Attack on Titan. Okay. There's so much here. If I missed anything, I'm sorry, but man... There's a lot going on. He literally looks like, yeah, he's like Aaron Yeager. Uh, Luffy Yeager, is that what's happening right now? Oh, we have a giant mystical flying dragon. I'm about it. I'm, I'm here for it. Let's do it. Oh, great song. I think this is the last one, ladies and gentlemen. And a really good one to end it on. Like good song. Art looks phenomenal. We're, we're getting return characters like normal. Oh, was that okay? Is that the brother guy? Is he is he coming back? I didn't see him for a couple. Dude, like there's just so much to take in for what this show is offering in these openings alone. Uh, by even just by Luffy. Because you have him running away from whatever that is. He's got like adamantium skin at this point. He can bite himself to grow bigger, a la Attack on Titan. And Brooke in the background in full samurai gear. I'm for it. Let's do this. I like it. Zoro really needs to be careful with those uh <laughs> with those with those swords in his mouth. Like I every time I see him. It's almost like I'm a parent. Like, I get worried. Like, Zoro, just don't run, sweetie. Oh, so cool looking. Like, it's got, like, such a, like, superpower kind of uh, corner to it now. Like, edge to it. That it feels like it's it feels like it's much more than just pirates now. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all 23 reactions of One Piece. Uh, I have to say, I, I wasn't really sure how I'd feel going into it. Oh, that's nice. That's it for all the reactions of One Piece, ladies and gentlemen. All 23 right there. Hopefully, we don't have to do too much editing to the video so you can get the full full effect and, and, and full, full experience. Like I just got, uh, I have to say, I know there's 900 and some episodes of this show. Uh, but man, I, I want to watch it because they told stories of, of, it looks like family. It, it holds stories of, of insane bad guys, of being a pirate of, of love and lost. Uh, you, you can literally gleam all of that from these openings. Uh, and how detailed and how good they looked. And the music was fantastic for every single one. There wasn't like a bad song for any of these. There wasn't one that I was just like, eh, it's, it's okay. Like every one was actually really good. And I'm surprised by that. So that's, that's kind of nutty. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you made it to the end with me. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Please give us a thumbs up in the comment. 
Uh, tell me what else you would like to see me react to. Uh, really fun, really fun freaking looking anime. I really want to watch it now. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. I love you, face. Make sure you check out all the socials or the live stream. Just Twitch, Instagram, and uh, Twitter is my boomstick. Uh, TikTok, uh, Patreon, and and YouTube, of course, is just boomstick. I'm trying to trying to figure it out to get boomstick everywhere. But I appreciate your support. I love your faces and be the joy.